Hey everyone, this is Kristen with Printable Cuttable Creatables, and in this video I'm going to show you how to assemble the 16 ounce beer can glass box. So I've already cut all my pieces and I've assembled the decorative panels. These are completely optional if you want to add, you know, a pattern, scrapbook paper, just something extra to your box. Um, so everything's cut out. I have my side panels here, the bottom cushion insert, the top insert, and then this is the box flap, which is separate because with this file, this lid has the hole cut in it to fit the types of glasses that come with a lid and have a straw. So uh, this box comes with a solid lid to hold just the glass itself. So this glass does not have any kind of lid or straw with it. And then this is the solid lid. So you get one file and it comes with the solid lid and the lid with a hole in it for a straw. So you get to pick which lid that you want for the glass that you're using. Okay, so here, like I said, I already have everything cut out. I glued my panels on and the file also comes with dashed score lines and solid score lines. In this one, I'm using these dashed score lines. I feel like they show up a little bit better on camera. So here, and I've already uh, pre-folded these, but what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go and fold along the score lines on all the pieces so that they're ready for you to work with. So you're just gonna go through and fold along all of the score lines. And then for the bottom cushion, you're gonna fold all the way around. And then we have this ring on the inside. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna gently push down on these little flaps. And you're gonna leave that, that's gonna uh, act as a, a little base for the glass to sit so that it doesn't get too rattled around. It's not really touching the bottom of the box at all. So just add a little bit more security within the box. And then first thing we're gonna start by adding some glue to these tabs. And I like to use art glitter glue. There's no actual glitter in it, but I really like it for cardstock. It gives a nice strong hold. I'm just going to add some glue and match that up there, match that up there, and this glue tends to dry fairly quickly, so I'm just going to press it for a few seconds to give it a chance to really stick, and then I'm going to move on to the other tabs here. that one in okay so that forms the bottom cushion for the box so when we put a glass in there the glass sits right on that little like cushion part so now we can add the lid so I'm just gonna add some glue on here and attach it to this part of the box. And that's gonna be the box flap. Get a little messy with my glue there. Okay, and then next, I'm going to add some glue here. And then what I like to do from there is flip the box over and fold one side in, fold the other side in, and then it's going to line up right there on the seam. So I can go ahead and add some glue here.
and then we can pick it up and tuck in these side flaps here and fold the, these uh, bottom flaps here. Just give this a little bend so that this tab fits in here. And then the bottom locks by itself, so you don't need any glue for the bottom. So now we have our box shape. We have our top flaps. This folds closed. Okay, so that's our box. And then we can take the cushion. And if it's a, t a bit of a tight fit going in one way, you can turn it and try it the other way. Just slide your hand down and press. I like to press each of the four corners and make sure it's there in the bottom. Okay, so now what we can do is uh, we can place our glass in. So the glass goes right in. See, it's sitting in the cushion right now. And then we can take this piece, and now this is gonna keep the top of the glass. See, it kinda can rattle around. What this piece does is it keeps the glass from rattling around. It just kinda keeps it in place a bit, so. And it slides right over the lid if your if your glass has a lid and it fits perfectly over the glass without a lid as you can see in this box too so this is the same insert piece this is the glass without a lid and it just fits over and it keeps it snug so it doesn't wiggle around too much if this is you know a box that's being shipped as a gift or you know traveling or anything like that so now we can't actually, you know, it would be nice if we could just close the lid like this, but what we actually need to do is take the straw out, close the lid, pop the straw back in, and now your box is done. So here is our 16 ounce beer glass box. He doesn't like to be sideways, huh? And then this is without any panels, and that's it. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions.